So you figured out what math is and you are convinced that you want to learn it, either for its own sake or for improving science and engineering through accurate and precise analysis using mathematics as a language. If you are like me, then you probably felt like this in at least one of your classes. Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! In order to understand this lesson, you have to understand what math is. In summary, math is the study of necessary synthetic truths through rational deductive reasoning on abstract ideal entities. If that sounds like gibberish, then watch the first lesson called What is Math? Cantor says, in mathematics, the art of proposing a question must be held of higher value than solving it. So now you are taking a course and you want to know how to learn calculus or any other math topic. You are wondering what is the best way to approach it. Well, since math is dependent on rational deductive reasoning, we know that you must be capable of demonstrating rational deductive reasoning to prove any important theorem you're learning. And since the entities of math are abstract ideal entities, you must be capable of defining exactly what concepts you are dealing with. For example, let us imagine you are learning calculus. You will therefore need to know the definitions of a derivative, a limit, an integral, a function, etc. You will also need to know the deductive reasoning behind the fundamental theorem of calculus, the different rules to differentiate, the different rules to integrate, the mean value theorem, etc. Thus, your understanding will be verifiable if you are capable of demonstrating knowledge of definitions of entities and deductive logic of theorems. Now, this is only an alright answer, it gives us an indication if we learn something or not, but this is still not telling us how to learn math. It tells us how we will be after learning math. So now the question is, what is the best way to learn math definitions and mathematical deductive logic? Well, I will not discuss the different methods of doing it, I will simply and plainly state the best way to do it. The best way to learn a definition of an entity is to define it yourself. Thus, through your own critical thinking, you come up with a definition for an intuitive concept you had. And the best way to learn logical thinking is to go through the process of connecting premises with conclusions, or in other words, is to do the logical thinking yourself. You might be annoyed from my answer, and I am slightly embarrassed to have to explain this, but the best way to learn thinking is to think, and the best way to learn mathematics is to behave like a mathematician and the behavior of mathematicians is all about critical defining of concepts and critical deductive reasoning of theorems. Thus, the best way to learn mathematics is to go through a process that helps you give good definitions of concepts and gives you an ability to think through the logic behind different theorems and methods. This process must give you the responsibility of finding the definitions and theorems. All teachers you have experienced probably were in the habit of telling you what the definitions and theorems were. Being told definitions and theorems does not give you the ability to think them through. It gives you the option to memorize them. Which means you are really an advanced form of a parrot. Nothing more. This puts us in a small dilemma where we are trying to teach a student to think for themselves, but at the, at the same time we are really telling him how to think. Socrates was put in this same dilemma. It appears to be somewhat solvable in one way. What we can do is set up the right environment for thinking for yourself and hoping that the student will actually put in the effort to think. Now, our goal is still to teach them math, and math is a branch of knowledge related to abstract ideal entities. So the right environment for it is really in the minds. The best way to get someone thinking and using his mind without telling him what to think is to ask him good questions. The questions have to be vague enough to allow room for free thinking and specific enough to force the student into a direction picked by the teacher. For example, toward understanding the fundamental theorem of calculus. This technique of educating people is called the Socratic method. It was famously used by Socrates to educate the youth. It was so good that he was executed for corrupting the youth or in other words, for educating them. In summary, we went through the following five points. 
Number one, you need or want to learn math. Number two, math is the study of necessary synthetic truths through rational deductive reasoning on abstract ideal entities. Number three, you therefore need to understand definitions of abstract ideal entities and rational deductive reasoning. Number four, the best way to understand these two things is through your own critical thinking. Number five, the best way to induce guided critical thinking is through asking the right questions, as in, the teacher asks relevant questions to the student. Therefore, the conclusion is, the Socratic method is the best way to learn or teach math. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.